into this. You and I must restore Biafra, brother. But when he was hiding the Mizina Naboro to restore Biafra. And that is what we are here to do. So I encourage you to continue to press on. Don't give up. Don't relent. Don't give up. Don't relent. Don't let circumstances around you to subdue you, to change the narrative. Don't let the environment you find yourself redefine you. Be who you are made to be. Change that environment for Biafra restoration. Very, very important. We must continue. Before we proceed, let's commit our proceedings into the hands of Jehovah Elohim Chukukakabia Mekekeroa, the Most High God, as we bow down our heads in prayers. The righteous King of Glory and Innovation, Chukukakabia Mekekeroa. No, one who is a king, 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 who is We we'll bless your holy name, Abba Father. We we'll give you praise. Be thou exalted, immortal Redeemer. Be thou exalted, Jehovah Jireh. Be thou exalted, I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name, ancient of ancient. Lord, we thank you for these wonderful days. We say, Hallow be thy name, O Lord God, Abba Father. As we continue to pray and cry on today, that thou will finish what you started, O Lord. The Bible says, He that started a good job will perfect it, O Lord God, Jehovah. You will finish what you started with your servant, our leader, Mazin Namdekano. You will protect him. You will bring him out of solitary confinement, O Lord. Ancient of ancient, Jehovah Jireh, E Mortu Redeemer. You will protect him from the hands of the wicked. Jehovah Jireh, we continue to pray and cry on today that you will do that, O Lord, which only you can do upon his life. As we say that you are his shepherd, he shall not want. You make him lie down in green parts, you release him beside quiet water. You restore his soul. You guide him in part of righteousness. For your name's sake, even though he walks through the valley of shadow of death, he fears no evil. For you are with him, your rod and your staff. They comfort him. You prepare a table before him in the presence of his enemy. You anoint his head with oil. His cup runneth over. For surely your goodness and mercy will follow him all the days of his life. And he will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Abba Father, this same way we'll commit this time security network. We'll pray, Lord God Jehovah, you strengthen our men, O oh Lord God Jehovah, and use them effectively to the glory of your name. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Ninsi, shower your, your knowledge, your wisdom, your understanding upon the DOS. O oh Lord, help them, bless them, strengthen them, O oh Lord. Abba Father Jehovah, every trap the enemies are setting for them, Jehovah Jireh. By your wisdom upon them, O Lord, may they see and overcome it to the glory of your name. Immortal Redeemer, Abba Father, we continue to pray for their friends all over the world. We continue to commit brothers and sisters into your hand, O Lord. We ask you, Jehovah Jireh, Chuku Okikabia, Mekekerowa, the beginning, the end, the Alpha, the Omega, my Lord and my God, my Father, my Maker, that you, O Lord, will intervene over the issue of your people. Father, you will bless us, you protect and guide your people, left and right, up and down. Jehovah Nancy, immortal redeemer, many are languishing in jail, O Lord, as a result of the circumstances, the issue we find ourselves, O Lord. I ask you, Abba Father, to have mercy. Show mercy, O Lord. Open the prison gate, let them come out, O Lord. Abba Father, Jehovah Nancy, immortal redeemer. We commit the poor, the widow, the needy, the orphans, O oh Lord, in our land. Father, we pray that you show mercy, show mercy upon them. Be the husband of that widow, O oh Lord, that cries every night. Help her, O oh Lord, our Father, provide as things are getting difficult, as things are so hard in our land. Jehovah, remember your people, O oh Lord. Show us mercy, our Father, show us mercy. My Father, my Maker, Chuku Okikabiyama, we leave the sick also. Asking you, Lord, for healing. Asking you for healing, O Lord. Let there be healing, O Lord, by the power in your word. Let there be healing. Let there be healing. May they be healed totally. In hospital, by prayer, by medication, by all means, O Lord, may your people be healed from that illness to the glory of your name. Blessed Redeemer, Abba Father. We worship, we adore thee, we glorify your name, we we'll give you praise. We pray against the forces of darkness in our land, powers that are sucking human blood, powers that enticing our people into evil, 
power that are frustrating people, O oh Lord, we rebuke all these powers. We silence them, O oh Lord. We send them into our abyss to the glory of your name. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Ninsi, Immortal Redeemer, Ancient of the Day, my Lord and my God, my Father, my Maker. We continue to pray against evil ones that they will vanish. Let them vanish in our land. Let the land regain its sacredness. Let evil go away from our land. Abba Father, let the things that are detestable before you vanish. Because you alone is God and beside it there is none. And we your children will continue to renew our vow. That we will never bow down to stone, to wood, to idols of any kind. We will never worship demons in the modern or ancient way. Jehovah Jireh, only you, Ekekerowa, shall we praise, shall we adore. Be thou exalted, Abba Father. Take glory, Almighty God. Take glory, Jehovah Ninsi. That he will make this prayer in the beautiful name of your beloved son, Yeshua Hamashiach. Great beer friends, we must continue to press on. We are not going to relent. A lot of issues are happening. A lot of things are out there happening. But we are not going to relent. By the grace of Jehovah Elohim Chuku Okike Abiyama, we will not relent. It's going to be a very quick one for today. Uh, but before then, uh, let's start with our press release. Uh, let's start with our press release. Our press release is very, very important. Very, very important. Ekberima and his supporters are not same as followers of Mazin Namdekano. The general public should ignore Barista Loshus Makok falsehood on arise television i hope you have listened to that uh, falsehood interview because right now they are um, uh what's that song you know they are exposing themselves now so that interview this press release is here to debunk it equity man and his followers has nothing to do with and as you pay attention, you will understand from the press release with the analysis we are going to add to it. Very, very important. We, the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, heavily led by Onion Dumazin Namdikanu, debunked the misinformation and lie broadcasted on Arise Television on Saturday, 29 July 2023, by Barista Aloysius Mwejimako. To the effect that um, Ekberima's supporters are the same as Mazin Namdekano's followers. While we agree that some misguided supporters of Ekberima are followers of Mazin Namdekano, being under the illusion that Ekberima is working for the release of Mazin Namdekano, all these things are lie. These are the things, these so called barrister. Mwejimako was dishing out at a rice television because all the sins are lying. In reality, however, the majority of his supporters are sworn enemies of IPOB who are working with Ekberima to sabotage IPOB effort at liberating our people from evil and contraption called Zoological Republic of Nigeria 
and the release of Mazi Namdi Kano from detention. Those people you see are real enemy of Mazi Namdi Kano. You supposed to the question we supposed to ask ourselves now: Where are those people who were against Mazi Namdi Kano before his abduction? There are people who were so against us. Everything Oyindu does, they will criticize them. The Nini, was it Nani or Nini? The that organization Nadi them. All where are there? You won't see nobody now. Everybody's talking Oyindu, Oyindu. These are the people. Finally, finally, they found themselves with a leader, and uh, they are doing their biddings. These are the enemies of Mazin Namdi Kano coming together. Some of us fall to it out of emotion and um, lack of, uh, um, as a result of paralysis analysis. You couldn't analyze things on your own. Couldn't figure things. You just fall in. And with some certain um, elements that are disturbing the Igbo people, jealousy, envy, why would it be this person? You fall. But we thank God that some are realizing, some out of pride, they don't want to return back, and all those things. So these people are enemy of Mazin Namdikana. Now they have seen a rear they can a platform where they will play the role in these guys that they are doing good but in order to put Oyendu in trouble more and more that is why they are doing all those things they have nothing to do with consign know how it related to Oyendu even the so-called uh, barrister the so-called barrister is connecting him to Oyendu these are the things you need to we need to understand we cross our T's and dot our eyes by ourselves for the advance for that for the avoidance of doubt equerima was never an ipob member and has no alliance whatsoever with mazin namdikano or ipob because both are focused on freedom of our land and people and have no business with criminality we don't steal the real man the real esn don't steal the real ESN don't steal. They don't, brother. They don't. They don't. They will never pick. These are real men guided by the spirit of the Most High. Talk less of to come and snatch cars. You saw the one they busted uh, on this, the Buruhaha uh, uh, sit at home. You are a military, you, you, you claim a freedom fighter with a gun and you have women. In your camp, you are sleeping with women in the camp. If you don't leave that camp, they will use you for ritual. I tell you, if you know the negative impact of having sleeping with a woman in in a in in the battlefield, if you know what it is, you won't let it. All of them that have been killed so far, all these same criminals that they are using to destabilize our land. All of them, you see, there is the what's the name of the other one, the last one, the one that have is this seven or ten wives, pregnanting women, and he will come and recruit some of you and keep you in the camp. You don't know, you still don't know. That is why when we ask you to listen to us, you will not pay attention because your mind has been given to in the camp where you are fighting for battle. You are sleeping with a woman. You have contact. With, this is not because maybe your charm or whatever. Apart from using charm or what, you, you see, you don't have contact with a woman in a battlefield. You don't. Let me give you the example. Let me digress a bit. Do you think that what happened between Uriah and the David was just ordinary? Although, God's hands could be there to make it to be very high. In ancient Israel, when it's war, even some number of days before the war, you don't have to do anything with your wife. For some number of days, you need to abstain. Then go to the camp. Stay there for days before the war. Even if you die, your body becomes a sacrifice to God. Yes. But you see all these criminals. I put on wine. You know, any more of you now. I put to That's why they are falling now. You see them dying. See them dying. They are criminals. Snatching cars. Putting pains in the mind of our, in the heart of our people. And these are my boys. 
and these are still the people Allah shoes Umwejimako from Murani were able to do what? To go to the Arise television and somehow instead of him to stand and debunk the thing, pump and plan, make it very clear that there is no relationship between oil and water, between dark and day. It was a kind of petting and pumping to tell you what is there. That is why this press release is very, very important. To clarify, well, the zoo knows everything because the zoo are the one, the zoo are the ones sponsoring them. The Zoological Republic, they are the one doing all this. We know how to play all this game. We know how they are playing. These are the games the slave master do play. The Americans play it very well. They will form CIA, form uh, uh, Al Qaeda in uh, Afghanistan. They were the one who formed them with a different name. And they were used to fight Russia during the Cold War then. They will come out and claim to be good. So all those things, that is what they are planning. But we are making it very clear for the innocent ones, those of you who are dying out of ignorance. Pull yourself from these camps. Pull yourself. The earlier the better than dying unnecessarily. Let's continue. For the avoidance of doubt, Ekberima was never an IPOB member and has no alliance whatsoever with Mazin Namdekano IPOB because both are focused because both are focused on freedom of our land and people and have no business with criminality. The only remote connection is that he, Ekberima, was talking about Biafra on his platform, which Mazin Namdekano saw in a positive light, having supported anyone or group genuinely agitating for Biafra, whether the person are IPOB member or not. That is the only thing that happens there. You know, Onyindu, when he sees you, you are doing good, he somehow prays. That is the praise. And he said it. These are the praise. When he praises, you see, the person will become, try to become governor, try to become president. Asian here in the creek, Asari Dokobo, remember when Onyindu praised him. Just one broadcast Onyindu used to praise him. That is what pushed Asian. Asian had become whatever he becomes today. You remember when Oyendu escaped the assassination of Nigerian military in his house, that 28 our comrade fall. When Oyendu finally uh, escaped to Israel, there was a broadcast he made, and in that broadcast, he, if you remember, he thanked Asian here. He used the word Asare Dokubo, my brother, I think. That's how he addressed him. That was it. The man won contract. Asian here won contract. Asian here coming out. When we say no election, no election. If you remember, if you flash back, Asian here will pump out. Say there will be election. Because Oyende has promoted. That is how Ekber might just be. And some of you are following him. So you see the disadvantage in saying thank you for just a little thing one has done. Because uh, Onyibu, the very dangerous. Onyibu. Or the very dangerous. Asian here is Onyibu. Ekperima himself, Bonibo. Ekperima Bonibo. So these are the things. These are the things. We must continue. Ekperima has his group called Uto Pilot. He has his own government. He has his own government. Which he announced himself as the crime minister is the crime, uh, and that is why he's committing the crime everywhere. The question that people must ask themselves is whether Mazin Namdekano is part of Ekberima's phantom government in hell. They have they produce their own government in hell. Government in hell. Of course not. Mazin Namdekano has said it time and again that our focus is to liberate our people who will then choose their leaders in a free Biafra land in a free Biafra land and therefore does not does not and will never support any such nonsensical imbecilic government in hell for a long time you see how they have been planning all these things that is you remember when they sent Bruce Fane Bruce Fane one of the agenda Bruce Fane has in coming to Nigeria to see Onyendu in solitary confinement is for Onyendu 
for him to pressurize Onyendu while Onyendu is in detention to kick off government in hell. This is their government in exile hell. That's one of the agenda. He's a lawyer, he's a contractor. If you hire him, pay him money, whatever, he will do it for you. But there was a fracas that time because as at that time, who will be this crime minister has been there. Then Kanan Takano vowed, he called the DSS not to allow uh, Bruce Fenn to see Onyindu because Kanan Takano and DSS are one. They are, they are five and six, you know, just as Ekwerima and Nelly is one. Nelly is Ekwerima, Ekwerima is Nelly. The same way Kanan Takan is DSS and DSS is, is Kanan Takan. He called them and they refused to let um, Oyindu to see Bruce Fenn. Reason, already Ekwerima himself, as an Igbo man he is, has already uh, warming up to be the crime minister. Whereby yeah, that is what um, Kanan Takan had been dreaming for a very long time fighting Chike Duzim, fighting the DOS to push them out. That had been his dream. Because for them, they don't believe that Oyindu will come out so that he will take over. That is the, that is the dream of the criminal. You know? So, there's government in exile. They have been planning it for you to know. And Aloysius Jimako is into all these things, giving them some legal techniques. Legal techniques they will use to succeed in it. You know? So we, we need to understand this game very well and know how to follow these people. For the sake of those of you who have already realized the better for you, just pull out. Both those they have recruited, you are in their camp in Olo. All this rubbish you are doing, going to a zombie to enforce it at home, you don't know. I am giving you insight. Your commanders have five wives, three wives. There is no how you succeed in that war. You will just die. If you are listening now, you hear what I'm saying. You are under a commander who is sleeping with a woman in the camp. He or all of you will die. There is something in sexual relationship with battle. A real soldier will just din forget his own wife, his own children, and face the war. There is a spirit in war. If you take the history, those who go to war and rape women, even though if their own side wins, those people don't last. Even before the war finishes, a bullet will hit them, they'll die. You don't do those rubbish. If you are going to war, don't steal. And don't touch woman. If you're into battle, don't steal, don't take anything. Go just for that war. Don't take except officially authorized. There is the one that will be officially authorized. Maybe destroy and loot. That one is different. But you, you are stealing something for yourself. You will not return. Or you engage into raping women. Even if the woman come wholeheartedly for you willingly cooking food and bringing to you if you are in a war any kind of war don't 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 you don't know what is being behind sex if i will give you a lecture on that sex can make you sex can be a blessing to you and sex can be as dangerous as death to you but it depends when it happens yes so in case I'm just so, uh, uh, digressing a bit, telling some of you they are recruiting because according to some information we gather, some of you will just ignorantly be recruited. You don't know out of passion. You want to fight for Biafra, not knowing that you are fine. Use all this criteria I'm giving to you. Those criminal commanders that Ekwerima are using, and you see them are now quarreling wine, now quarreling wine anyhow. One name, Balaga, drop or a head, Balaga, Bafu. That is it. And you, they want to recruit you. Don't join them. I'm telling you as your beloved brother. I'm trying to clear the way for you as your own loved beloved brother, if you pay attention. Let's continue. If Ekwema is an IPOB member, Mazin Namdikano, in the spirit of principle of command and control, would have sent a handwriting note to the head of the directorate of the state, HODS, of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazichika Edozim, 
to discipline or sanction him because Ekwerima is not an IPOB member but a fake disciple. He, Mazin Namdikano, has to write him directly. That is it. That letter you see on circulation that they know when it was written and bring out. For example, now, I'm misbehaving. I watch naked now misbehaving. Why would Mazin Namdekana write to me direct with all the whole offices, offices, hierarchies that are under me? Why will he write to me direct? Have you think of that? For what reason? You know, he has there are offices that are more than me that will sanction me, penalize me, ask me to stop or push me out. Something of that nature. Why will he write to him? It's to tell you he's not part of us. But Barista Loishu Sumwe Jimako was a kind of, in his analysis in Arise Television, trying to a kind of um, balance it somehow. Try to balance it somehow. Because he himself, Aloysio Sumwe Jimako, has soiled his hands so much. If they begin to expose the things he has done, if you see the man, you might even shoot him. I tell you. The way him and the man Nelkano being direct authorized by Kanan Takano. They were meeting politicians, collecting money during the collection. All of them, all the whole political parties, both those who is only within a state, they were meeting them, promising them IPOB will vote for you. IPOB will vote for you. And they were giving them money. Sometimes they say it's a legal fee for Mazin Namdekano. That is what they are using. Collecting money. Collecting money. He, he went to that interview. He tried to fine-tune it. Instead of you to speak the truth, what consigns us with Ekbarima? He refused. It was a kind of trying to balance things for them. So that all the atrocities they are committing will somehow be equated to Mazin Namdekano. Then DSS will have a very verifiable uh, evidence they will present to the judges and say, judges, this is it. Why are you granting this person bail? Why are you discharging and acquitting? Look at what they are doing. For a very long time, our own men are in the forest doing the legit job, which is Fulani, Fulani, our core enemy, parading, coming through, coming through the forest, the bushes. That is what we do. Anyone destroying somebody's farm, we go after it. Or trying to settle as a camp somewhere in the forest to use it to come and attack villagers. When we see it, we uproot it. That is what we do. The other day, didn't you see a good job our men did rescuing uh, um, kid, uh, people, the victims of kidnappers? They rescue them on hot, on hot. No casualty on the side of the victim. That is our men. These are the job they are doing because their hands are clean. The Spirit of God is upon them, guiding them. They are loyal, they are obedient. They are there just like you and I. We are doing this job not for any personal interest, but for the interest of our land, the Biafra. That's all. That is, how, that is why you see, every time they are into any engagement, they will be successful in it. Very, very successful. Barista Aloysius Mwejimako has no idea what IPOB is fighting for and does not know IPOB's mod, modus of operandi. That is why he attempted to export his lack of knowledge of the inner working of IPOB and he is a confused state of mind to the general public. The general public is advised to ignore a confused Aloysius Mwejimako from Murani and his false claim on Arise, Arise, on Arise TV, which are the product of crass ignorance on his part. I believe um, Emma Powerful wrote this, uh, um, wrote this paragraph diplomatically. Aloysius Mwejimako Murani knows everything, if we put it in that way. But I, I, I believe you know it's a press release. He will just put it diplomatically. But the man himself knows everything. He knows what he's doing. There's no two ways about it. He knows he planned it. He arranged it. He tried to present it to be good. But Ekberima holds all his tracks. Ekberima holds because they have been communicating with Ekberima. 
The day when I will expose him as he did to Nelly. Of Ebu. Nelly na ja ashere in here, na ja ashere in here, na bokai can send in here. Jamon, why do we got worry or woge g? Woge g kitchen IP will be. Oh man, I put my disguise wrong way. Oh man, I put my disguise wrong way. And I say, na bohesh or na bohesh. Hello him, up that one, hello him, hello him, hello him. Hello him, hello him. One day, I will expose him. Including Kanan Takano. That's why they, they are not harsh on him. All these criminals, you see them, they are not harsh to Ekberima. Because they know that they have messed up somewhere, somehow. Because anything you are doing with Ekberima, he will be recording you. Keeping the records, everything. He, will, he may he, he, he type or wrongly or just come out and write somehow. He will just send it to you directly privately tell you that this is what you said so 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 time this is what you do i have it to be careful if not i will put it on air if on your or or again that is how he hold canon takano now was it not canon takano who kick off the official seat at home on monday or in august 2021 when they in the wisdom god gave to the dos they came out with this Monday sit at home. Is it not Canon Takano who's done? Then what has he done all this while that Ekberima has been pushing, enforcing it, doing everything? What has Canon Takano done? Nothing. It's just uh, of recent. Up as your tweet, yeah, formality. You understand? We understand all those things because he knows that if he, if you say Pim, Ekberima is oh yeah. That is it. Let's continue. It is on record that Ekberima has publicly maintained that his violent enforcement of a reckless seat at home are to demonstrate that his so-called government in hell is in control of Biafra land. He, Ekberima, has not attributed the infamous seat at home to IPOB even though he is hiding under the pretense of seeking for Mazin Namdekano's release to perpetrate his criminality in Biafra land. Lastly, he, Ekberima, has stated categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekano, who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barista Aloysius Mwira land. Lastly, he, Ekberima, has stated categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekanu, who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barista Aloysius Mwiraland. Lastly, he, Ekberima, has stated categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekanu, who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barista Aloysius Mwiraland. Lastly, he, Ekberima, has stated categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekanu, who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barista Aloysius Mwiraland. Lastly, he, Ekberima, has stated categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekanu, who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barista Aloysius Mwejimaraland. Lastly, he, Ekberima, has stated categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekanu, who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barista Aloysius Mwejimaraland. Lastly, he, Ekberima, has stated categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekanu, who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barista Aloysius Mwiraland. Lastly, he, Ekberima, has stated categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekanu, who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barista Aloysius Mwiraland. Lastly, he, Ekberima, has stated categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekanu, who is in DSS dungeon? Therefore, for Barista Aloysius, waited categorically that he will not take order from Mazin Namdekanu, 
who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barrister Aloysius Mwejimako, if other Yoruba media channels you are listening, because all these things is what you love, but we are telling you the gospel truth through our press release. Because all you do is the work of devil to blackmail. Look at the Nigeria you people are supporting and how it's going down. I don't know if I'm still streaming live. I don't know. Uh, but uh, because uh, it's like uh, they have started shaking my line. I don't know if I'm still streaming live. But if not, you join me on Facebook. you still get what I'm saying. If you are not hearing me on radio, you join me on Facebook. And also follow me on TikTok, Mwachineke. So that um, we we'll stream live from there as well. Let's continue. Barrister Aloysius Mwejimako is just one of the lawyers contracted to handle specific cases for Mazin Namdekanu. He is not and has never been for the avoidance of doubt, the legal representative of the indigenous people of Biafra as a movement. He is not an IPOB member. He has no reason to meddle into IPOB operations beyond the special legal matters that he was contracted to handle. He has no authority or permission from the IPOB Directorate of State to speak for IPOB outside the few legal matters assigned to him by Mazin Namdekan. IPOB is not a village organization and we have cautioned him several times to stop making a fool of himself in relation to this noble movement and that he should stop using IPOB matters to cut deals with politicians. The man is done now because the kind of money I'm hearing that they have been collecting from politicians, he's done now. <laughs> he's a big dude. But uh, the money will the money will, will grow wing and flew away. That is it with all those kind of things. You cannot eat on top of the blood of our comrades and go scot free. It is his a prerogative. It is his prerogative to enter into evil alignment with infiltrators and saboteurs, but he should leave IPOB out of his uh, desperation to deliver for his sponsors. H. Macon knows very well that Ekberima is a mole and an agent of the Nigerian government because he is an insider of the DSS project, Project Okudele, Stroke Ekberima. Mazin Namdekano would not and have would not have found the need to write the fake disciple and the crime minister Ekberima if Barrister Aloysius Mwejimako from Murani had done the needful months ago. It's very obvious that what prompts our leader to put that writing down is because he had been sending this man many years, many months or, so, or about a year now or up to two years to go and do the needful. Do this, do this, he refused because they are working hand in hand. Because both of them are working hand in hand. And you must also remember that there was an interview granted to Barrister Ejofo. Barrister Ifan Ejofo said that there are people who do have instructed to do some certain things he did not mention them because of uh, their political whatever so if you connect it you understand the area things are going they have been told for a very long time to do this but they refuse they refuse to do it because they know what they are doing they know what they are doing Let's continue. In other vein, IPOB leadership, the DOS, warns people and lawyers going about meeting politicians, businessmen and women, traditional rulers and religious leaders in Biafra land for any favor on behalf of IPOB to seize and disease or be called out publicly. More so, people should stop patronizing such 
impersonators, IPOB has appropriate channel to communicate with whosoever we want to contact. We also have phone inquiry line and the social media handlines on which the leadership of IPOB can be contacted. Well, these are politicians. They are desperate. Anything you tell them, they will do. If not, they're supposed to know that that is not the way of getting money. So if they just come to them and tell them, um, just pay a certain amount of money and this will be done for you, you will discover that they will release the money. Emmanuel Khan has, and this man, they collected millions from Okebeke, Devil Mai, them, all of them, they collected a lot of money. But the politicians are fool. They are fool because they, they, they gather the money through the wrong way. They're supposed to understand, know, that these people are coming on their own. They're supposed to know. That is it. Finally, the public should ignore the claim of Barrister Alonso Sungwejima call on the Arise Television interview on July 29, 2023. It is completely false that Ekberima and his supporters are the same as followers of Mazi Namdekano. The IPOB leadership, the DOS, henceforth declare Barrister Aloysius Mwejimako from Urani a personnel non grata. He must desist from parading himself as IPOB and Mazin Namdekano Council from this day. Comrade in my powerful media and publicity secretary for IPOB. I hope that the whole world are listening. The leadership of IPOB now has made it very clear that, uh, let me read the last paragraph again. Finally, the public should ignore the claim of Barista Aloysius Mwijmako from Murani on a Rice Television interview on July 29, 2023. It is completely false that Ekwerima and his supporters are the same as followers of Mazen Namdekano. The last sentence now said, the, P the IPOB leadership, the DOS, henceforth declare Aloysius Mwejimako from Urani a persona non grata. He must desist from parading himself as IPOB and the Mazin Namdekano Council from this day. I hope you are aware. It's quite and clear. Here I got tomorrow. For you not tomorrow. Because I am open and share book. You're on your own. And there's no sorry. And that's why we ask you to continue to listen to Radio Biafra. In case you are joining us, this is 9 a.m. in the sacred land of Biafra. This is three minutes after 9 a.m. in the sacred land of Biafra. This is Radio Biafra. Our service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onyendu Maze Namdekano or Hamadike, one of Biafra land. In case you are not aware, Maze Namdekano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Is the director of Radio Biafra and her television. The commander of the armies of Biafra and the greatest man living on this planet Earth. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, the firstborn of Mazi Namdekano, and a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Juan Chineke. We are here analyzing the news, telling you the game. Aloysius Mwejimako and Ekberima, we are playing with the DSS over the e case of our leader. That is what our press release is talking about. So it's very, very important. Let's now go straight to one or two news. It's going to be a quick one for the day. It's going to be a quick one. Uh, let's take this news. Uh, this one says uh, how Nigerian police, sorry, how Nigerian police army personnel ripped off over 600 billion naira from Southeast resident through illegal roadblock report. Are you listening? Are you listening? 
the amount of money that the Al Shabaab on the road have collected so far 600 billion 600 billion naira so far the money these people have extorted from poor Igbo men in Biafra land an estimated 2.8 trillion naira was extorted at gunpoint from residents of southeastern Nigeria by various security agents in three years between July 2020 and July 2023. Are you listening? Are you listening? 2.8 trillion naira. 2.83 money they collect on roadblock chicken point you see why commodities are so expensive if you just buy something from on nature and you are going to uh, you are just take your goods to pack you pass how many road uh, uh, chicken point all those money you are giving to them you now add it on top on top of those goods somebody who is who just want to travel from place to place within Igbo land. The Taizi man, the park now, will add more money on his transport fare because he must roger some criminal element on the road. Things continue to, price of things continue to skyrocket in our land. Life becomes so difficult to us. Made by human being. And you want us to keep quiet? You want us to fold our hands. You want us just to be praying. You want us just to be talking without not doing one or two things in order to make sure that this thing stop. A real activist feels the pain of his people. A real freedom fighter reacts when the pain is too much, irrespective whatever will be the out outcome. You must know that. This is the amount of money extorted from our people. Transportation fare is very high. Goose, at the end of the day, it will land on the goose. It's a very simple economics, principles of economics. Because if you return, you will check how much you have spent and put it on top of that goose. And people must come and buy. Because number one is that you are not the only person. The same way they extort from you, from your driver, the same way they extort from the other person, the other person, price of things will go up. You see what the Al Shabaab in uniform are doing to us? We are still slaves despite the war finished, as they claim, 1970. They are still mounting roadblocks upon roadblocks in our land to frustrate us. When some angelic beings now will pull up their sword and decided to clean up the road, some of you now will be talking jargon. But look at how these people has frustrated the life of poor wretched people. Okada men, they stored them. Kekena Pepe, they stored them. Taizi drivers, they stored them. Everybody, they stored them. Hmm. Let's read it again. An estimated 2.8 trillion naira was extorted at a gunpoint from residents of the southeastern Nigeria by various security agencies in three years between July 2020 and July 2023, according to a report by the International Society for Civil Liberty and the Rule of Law. Inter society. It is not also, it is not IPOB that did this. These are a foreign organization. The, our duty now is to react on it. Because our duty is that as a man, we cannot be alive seeing our mothers, our poor ones, our younger ones being frustrated. It's our duty to react on it. And our reaction could be kinetic or non-kinetic. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is how we should be. The report released on Monday titled The Criminal Money Have Taken Over Security and Governance Duty in Eastern Nigeria, which was made available to reporters, is signed by the principal officers of inter-society Meku Ugwabalasin, Chinwe 
u meche. Obyan uju joy ibweli. Ndi di amaka si Bernard. Chidi ma Evangeline. Udebunam. Osita de ma ago. And Samuel. Kamna yoko. These are the people that signed this news. You this fact you are hearing, and these people are working with the international inter society. It is not a local organization. A breakdown of various extortion unleashed on people of the eastern Nigeria by the security agency, according to the report, indicates that police and military roadblocks accounted for about 670 billion naira. Police custodial extortion account for 200 billion naira. Crime proceed converted by police account for 60 billion naira. Why squandered? Governor's security vote amount amount to four hundred billion naira. The so-called security vote, like Okebeke is collecting, what Okebeke? I don't know what that man would do with money. He will gather the money. He will give the security agents their own, and he put his own. Then he will unleash Asari Dokubo's boys. They will go into Olo, and they are shooting and killing innocent people on daily basis. We must continue. Others are others are extortion by milit militants, government agency, which the report puts at seven hundred billion naira, while the military and police house house burning and looting across the zone accounted for one hundred and fifty billion naira. The amount extorted for police security. To very, to very important personalities and institutions in the Southeast within the period under the review account for 30 billion naira and non-state ransom robberies account for 400 billion naira, while other crime proceed from the criminal entities accounted for 200 billion naira. I hope you are following the analysis, how they are breaking it down, how they are breaking it down, both the properties of people that were destroyed, the the, uh, the criminal the criminal that kidnapped people, the money they collected, the security vote that Okebeke collects and send the military, and military will go and prove that indeed they are in the town by burning the houses of innocent people and all those things. All these things are what the inter-society try to calculate, to arrange together and let the world know what our people are passing through. As I'm talking to you right now, somebody somewhere in the eastern region is either in the grave or about to go to grave as a result of all these figures, these things, these damages you are hearing. Either they have burned their house, they killed them, they abducted them, the, the, the Malaysians of uh, Asari Dokubo, when they kidnap you, go to their camp in disguise of a babago, they will tell you to pay some ransom. If you don't pay, they will kill you, sell your organ. This is exactly what is going on. Some people testify they pay 300,000, 400,000 just to free themselves from the hands of Asari Dokubo boys. Disguised as a babago. Courtesy of Okebeke. These are the things we are passing through. So it's good you're listening to what inter-society is saying. They are telling you the gospel truth. They are not there for any political interest or whatever. They are letting the world to know the truth and nothing but the truth. This extortion, according to the report, account for a 45% exodus of businesses from the southeast to southwest, mainly Lagos, a development that was targeted to destroy the southeast economy together with the government in, inflicted insecurity in the region. The amount has risen from blue collar corruption and other corrupt practices perpetrated by the armed state actors and armed non-state actors cutting across the 11 eastern Nigerian states 
of Edo Delta and I'm bringing you a boy in Moabi across river Akwaibum, Bayasa and rivers as a period covering from July 2020 to July 2023. The whooping 2.8 trillion naira proceed from the state actors and non-state actors criminals activities has come from police and the military roadblock 670 billion naira governors squandered security vote 400 billion naira extortion by the milit militant government agencies 700 billion naira police security to vip institution 30 billion military stroke police house burning looting 150 billion ransom robberies by armed non-state criminal entities 400 billion and other crime proceed from armed uh, non-state criminals entities 200 billion naira added to the estimated of 660 billion naira police military roadblock extortion is estimated 200 billion naira rising from the police custodial extortion they bugain government and navy on a map on the ozo let me read everything down this thing is very very important estimated sum of 660 billion naira was also linked to the gunpoint seizure of conversion of crime proceed by various police crack squad across the 11 eastern states what police collected on their own is 60 billion naira that is what they collected i.e gunpoint money transfer and cash seizure and the conversion of the seized automobile motorcycle and other expensive personal belongings especially those seized from the slain and arrested citizen undergoing criminal investigation the totality of the above is to say that criminal money have taken over security and governance duty in eastern nigeria the report indicates inter society in the seven page research report explained that it was a follow-up from the main report of tuesday july 18 2023 which identified six major triggers of the inter society and other unsafe condition threatening nigeria with genocide or complex humanitarian catastrophe in the past eight years or since june 2015 the report however queried whether or not the deployed security forces at the eastern roadblock and the other extortionists extortionist government agency are more criminal and atrocious than the non-state criminal entities and the criminalities the former the the farmer the former are constitutionally mandated to uproot and contain the research question above was sufficiently answered by this research report through its finding below the deployed security forces at the eastern roadblock and other extortionist government agency are more criminal and atrocious than criminal entities and the criminalities they are constitutionally mandated to uproot and contain which is true are you listening these criminals are more the, the police the military let me break it very to the to, to lay, layman understanding that the police and the military and the whatever security they provide are the one more criminal than the criminal they claim they are looking for are you listening because police will extort money from people police will also do the kidnapping but the great kidnappers and the criminal element are hiding they will only just come out and steal once a while and run, run back to their hiding place but the police and the military are always on duty and their actions are illegal 
Their acts are evil, fraudulent. That is what internet, inter society is trying to explain to you. That the so-called security operatives are more criminal. They are committing more crime, extorting money on gunpoint anyhow than the so-called criminals they claim they are looking for. The research and investigative class classification of the 2.8 trillion Naira Eastern citizens' money seized at gunpoint across the 11 states of the region was done because the stolen amount was never traced to or reflected in legitimate government budgetary process of which of the 11 Eastern states such banditry Budgetary processes include legitimate income and expenditure standard, standardized in international best practices. Sorry. Though the governor's monthly security votes are part of the government uh, uh, part of government legitimately generated income, their expenditure are crooked and expressively uh, amounted to executive or gubernatorial tiffery as they are finally according to the report governor have been found to have hidden under insecurity most of the governors in the especially ukebeke Special Okebeke, hidden under insecurity or creation of same to over blotted siphon the public fund. They are just hiding under insecurity and taking all this money. This is the extent which that of which out of every five billion naira received monthly a state shared of federal allocation at least one billion is set aside and the siphoned as monthly security vote okay 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 has finished us honestly okay 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 state and i give book here nothing will spare that man that man must die i tell you okay okay must die there's no two ways about all these political criminals. Imo State is indebted. I don't know, maybe indebted more than any other state in the Eastern region. Courtesy of one useless idiot. Then we who robber. Just one useless idiot. Then we who robber. There's nothing you tell me that if not to okay, care. If not to okay, care. Nothing. Just a criminal. Join Oboni or Amok, all these they are occultic groups. Go watch everywhere. That is the only thing. Tell me one thing skillful from Okebeke. Nothing. Now he's kidnapping every everybody. Nonsongwa had been kidnapped by the DSS. Young Olu boys have been killed by Asari Dokubo boys. All this thing, courtesy of Okebeke. Every month he collects 5 billion naira. And out of five, that five billion, he will channel about two, three billion for security votes. And um, as the lion, he will take the lion's share, give the Al Shababs their own, settle Asari Dokubu, and that is the end. No infrastructure, no construction, nothing is going on in the state. And you are telling me that the man is not due for execution. For what reason? Why won't he be executed? Why? Oh, may God help us. We must continue. Finally, finally, um, I want to digress a bit on this issue of ECOWAS and the coup d'etat in Niger Republic and uh, all the rest and what Escobar is planning. Nigerians should be careful on the way the imperialists, the Western world, might use um, Escobar because of his condition in the zoological republic you know presently they are still going on tribunal the tribunal has already gathered everything it's just they don't know how to lie that's why they are 
a journey and holding all these things. Then, Escobar is already the head of the ECOWAS. Now, there is coup d'etat. France is losing all her ground in Africa. France is losing. And France has run to their boss, which is America. And you know how evil America is. America would like to maintain the white supremacy till thy kingdom come. Now, they have spoken through ECOWAS, if I'll put it in that way. ECOWAS has given seven days for Nigel uh, coup d'etat to hand over to Muhammad uh, uh, Bazoum, or whatever is the name of that man. That man is a Shwad Arab, and uh, he's ruling the, the black guys. We need to be touching all these things because it's from that North Sudan, the white and the black, all those things. In in Sudan case, let me digress if you don't know. In Sudan case, uh, um, they have almost eliminated every top uh, black uh, uh, um, politicians or men in that area. They have eliminated them. The other day was the governor of um, the four region or whatever. They are just finishing them. So that they, the white first king, will be ruling the black Africans. Our eyes need to open. Then this uh, Muhammadu uh, Bazoum is also from within that area in Niger. And he's trying to dominate these people. And he's a puppet to the French. So now, on the issue of this ECOWAS, if people don't want Escobar, because Escobar will try to do whatever he will do to please the West. He may try to use military invasion they will support him, give him equipment. Then remember that Russia is already on ground. All the whole French colonies are as loyal to Russia already. Which area am I going, my dear African people? Let's think. You know I have been a vocal when it comes to this new world order. I have been a vocal on it. Remember the statement of Prince William. Or was it on March, 22nd of March, I think, 2022, there about, or there, something of that. He made a statement when the war was about to start in Ukraine that such a thing is like alien in Europe, which means it is in Africa. But suddenly, the table was turned for them to start fighting to the extent that the beer, the Russia, was a kind of threatening to release the mushroom to them he was trying to throw the mushroom on them you know how deadly it is out of a sudden suddenly everything was just dying off they tried to do it within the um, uh, um the area of a uh, taiwan and uh, china suddenly everything is cooling down now you see it bubbling in africa that is the area. i'm not going the area of uh, Push only French colonies and the Francophone and the Anglophone. Their evil is the area I'm pointing hand. They may use this Escobar. Escobar is thirsty for power. Escobar would like anything that will help him to hold the power. Then they will tell him, if you don't want us to push you out, go and do this. If Escobar pushed there now, and he will be fighting. Russia will come. Before you know it, they will be throwing the mushroom in the sacred land of Africa. Remember also a statement made by somebody. It's because of time I would have played all those video, all those audio here. Have it. Somebody said, according to the word of Billy Gates, that the new um, now, uh, economic forum or uh, the new world uh, economy that they are bringing, it is only those that have value that Africans are worthless. If you remember that statement, that they need to be killed. Don't think that the West will just take nuclear bomb and throw to themselves. This Western beast we know, white man has been evil and cancer to the world. Europeans from day one, we begin to know them, has been a beast. So I'm just giving you my own take, my own understanding. Because the way Escobar will be pushing this thing, 
Because if you check out the whole country now, it's only Nigeria that will have the strength maybe to go and combat Nigel. Because e um, ECOWAS gave them seven days and AU gave them 15 days. But all these things are puppet of the West. They may give them mostly Escobar, mostly the area I'm pointing finger is Escobar. Escobar, the president of Nigeria now. Escobar, Bo Escobar Bola Ahmed Tinubu. They may push this man to the wall to go and fight on Nigel. And he'll push the Nigerian army. Reaching there, the Wagners are already on at Mali and other places. They will send their troop. Forget about you say they are Russia. All these people are the same. It's just like in America. You will say that um, what do you call them? The 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 Democrat and the Republican. You say Republicans are good and Democrats are bad. Democrats are, are bad and Republicans, although they are the same thing. They are just like a wing on the the the, the feather the, the the feather of a bed that feather will be lifting up and down to take that bed to a, a destination these people are driving this world to take us to a particular destination understand the area i'm going so that people will open their eyes and raise their voice and caution escobar and caution escobar because when it will start now Russia will be coming from the north, um, Western world, America and the Europe will be coming from the south. The whole thing will descend on us. Our sacred land, our beautiful African continent will be destroyed with nuclear bomb, nuclear weapon. Our people will die in their numbers. They might even come and take our continent. Fear Western imperialists, imperialist. fear them till tomorrow. So I'm just giving this my own take. They may use Escobar because Escobar's seat is still vibrating, he's still shaking. He don't know what will be the outcome. Couple with the hardship in Nigeria, they may rule something before you know it, it can spark a, 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 a crisis in Nigeria, whatever. Because of that, he may try to down to the tune of the Western world. They are evil. As long as the government of the Europeans is consigned in this world, they are evil. They are evil. They are evil. Whether you are religious or not, you believe, you don't believe, I'm telling you, they are evil. They are evil. And they may think of how should they kill themselves and leave their enemy to be. They may throw that mushroom on us. Using us by ourselves because they know Africans are stupid. Escobar must be cautioned. Escobar, the president of Nigeria now, Bola Ahmed Tinubu Escobar, must be cautioned. Very, very important. This is, thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra House Service 2 coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onyendu Mazi Namdikano Ohamadike, one of Biafra land. Mazin Namdekano remains the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Is the director of Radio Biafra and Television, the commander of the armies of Biafra, and the greatest man living on this planet Earth. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, the firstborn of Mazin Namdekano, and a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Uma Chineke. Just as I said, it's going to be a very quick one, and we are bringing this broadcast to an end. Thank you very much for being part of Radio Biafra, and continue to listen to Radio Biafra. In case the voice you have been hearing on Radio Biafra, you start to hear it in another imitate radio, calling themselves whatever, it's not the original. Even my own voice that you have been hearing now, if tomorrow you are not hearing it, on this platform, Radio Biafra, no matter what I said, don't listen to me. Yes, everybody must caution himself. We must not bend our neck to money. If tomorrow you start hearing my own voice, so I'm not saying that I will, but I'm using myself as an example. Don't pay attention. That is why I'm saying you start hearing a voice you have been hearing here before, they are fake. We are here to make sure that what Mazin Namdekano planted, we secure it, we, we, we grow it, we put it manure, we put it fertilizer, it grows, we self-guide it. That is how it is. 
Thank you very much. And as we wrap it up with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for the life of our leader, Mazen Namdekano. As we continue to pray that you are his shepherd, he shall not want. You make him lie down in green paths. You lead him beside quiet water. You restore his soul. You guide him in path of righteousness. For your name's sake, that even though he walks through the valley of shadow of death, he fears no evil. For you are with him, your rod and your staff, they comfort him. You prepare a table before him in the presence of his enemy. You anoint his head with oil, his cup runneth over for surely. Your goodness and mercy will follow him all the days of his life, and he will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Lord, we pray for the Eastern Security Network, giving you praise on their behalf, O oh Lord, that you protect and guide them. Father, we also continue to pray for the DOS, asking you, continue to shower them. Let them wear your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding like clothes every day to the glory of your name. Blessed Redeemer, I commit IPUB all over the world. Bless each and every one of us. Protect and guide us, O Lord, our Father Jehovah. Let good things happen to us. Let us see good things. Let us see your blessings. Protect and guide us to the glory of of your name blessed redeemer we commit biafra land into your hand we pray that the sacred land of biafra will see peace that biafra will be restored that we your children will go home and be giving you praise in the sacred land of biafra to the glory of your name thank you abba father jehovah thank you my lord and my god blessed be your holy name that it will make this prayer in the beautiful name of your beloved son yeshua hamashiach and I leave you with this word. The Bible says, For you are a chosen people, a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As of God's very own possession, as a result, you can show others the goodness of God. For he called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Shalom. The true goddess has keys on it. Yeah, friend. Yeah, friend. When Nigeria they go see Sagaza, yeah, France are calling for freedom. Nigeria they go see Sagaza, yeah, France are pleading for freedom. When Nigeria they go see Sagaza, yeah, France are calling for freedom. Nigeria they go see Sagaza, yeah, France are pleading for freedom. Freedom on fire, freedom on fire, freedom on fire, do 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 do. Freedom on fire, freedom on fire, freedom on fire, do 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 do. They deny themselves from being Nigerians, separated themselves.